What's up YouTube, it's Louis here bringing you today's cryptocurrency video. Let's get into Fire. Before we get into this video, I want to say thank you so much guys. We have now hit my end of year target of 500 subscribers. This is insane. Make sure to comment down below, obviously like this video because I'm going to do a giveaway. So you, all you guys need to do is like this video and comment down below when you've liked it to enter yourself in a giveaway. I'm going to give out two months for free in my Discord group chat to one person. So please just comment down below on this video and every video I make today, I'm going to tell everyone, watch the FIRO video and comment, like and comment down below on the FIRO video for you to enter the giveaway. And then I'm going to do a, a random name generator basically. And then one person will be lucky enough to get two months for free in my Discord group chat. And obviously I'll have a crypto uh, portfolio, like consultation core chats basically. Perfect, let's get into FIRO guys. So obviously we know about the scam wick and after that we said we're going to ignore it. And so we had this descending triangle, technical target met at 705, meaning that it's invalidating further downside because you've met your target unless there's more targets to the downside, which we did not have. After uh, having this uh, bearish uh, pattern, we formed a bullish pattern. You have a huge double bottom over here, one bottom, two, and this is also called an ascending triangle. And with this pattern, you're just basically hitting resistance, support, hit resistance, support, resistance, support, and you can go all the way to the apex until a uh, eventually a break is kind of come and usually that's to the outside because this is called an ascending triangle but just because the pattern is bullish it doesn't mean it uh, can't go to the downside and it can i think it's like a 35 percent chance to the downside 65 to the upside and so i told you guys in the last few days that um when we broke out over here it put us in a technical target to 775 and as you can see we got out and it broke back in this invalidates the target but when it invalidates the target you're still in this bullish pattern. So eventually, if you can keep holding this support over here, if you can keep holding this uh, uptrend over here, you're gonna eventually break out again. So you came back in and you broke out again, getting to around 760. And then you fell back in, broke out again, meaning it's validated, broke back out, invalidating it, broke back out, <laughs> validating it, broke back in, invalidating it. This is trading for you guys. This is why we're not breakout traders. We like waiting for pullbacks, but this break was so beautiful. And when you pulled back, you pulled back to the 20, uh, 200 EMA. Look where your 20 EMA is right now. So even if you fall, you're going to catch on that. And where is that? On the 200. So by the time you fall, that's by the 200. And you've just formed a bullish cross on the one hour. Very bullish. I literally made a video on fire two minutes ago on my Twitter. And we were just over here. And then two minutes later, boom, technical target met. This is beautiful, guys. We know that fire likes gapping. I don't know why, but it just does. Like when this candle closed, it should have opened here and then gone up to there like that. But of course, so bullish that I left a gap. Uh, can you see here when you had a gap? you basically eventually filled it in. So could this mean that you're going to eventually fill this in? We could keep going up, maybe meet $8 and then retrace back to this high or even come as low as this because this here is your descending triangle over here, the support of it. So now that you're above it, this is very bullish and you're above the 382 now. You're working your way back above, uh, above the fibs. The fibs are working how they should as a retracement tool rather than a reversal tool. If you lose the 618, this is what calls, uh, creates the reversal wave. And if you, you can hold the one, of course, and create this large double bottom like that, and then go up. However, if you do lose the one, I gave you technical targets to the downside, and this is what I put on my thumbnail yesterday. I said that bearish case, 593, and I said bullish case, once you break above $8, which we're going to go to now. It's just, are we gonna break it or are we gonna come back and fill this gap in that we've just created? And if so, we could obviously come down a bit more and then bounce up and then break $8. Because once we are above $8, look at this beautiful technical target, which I gave you yesterday, uh, up here at $9.27, filling this wick in. I told you guys in the past that Fire likes doing lots of pump and dumps or, and I don't mean pump and dumps, but I mean, it's very easy to move FIRO guys because there's such a small like market cap and so literally one way or li like this move over here could have been literally one person. We will never know with FIRO because how great it is uh, as a privacy token. You, you can't see the amount in a, in a transaction. You can't tell who the transaction is or anything to do with the transaction at all. And this is why FIRO has like an advantage over its competitors like uh, Zcash and uh, uh, Monero with the relentless uh, 
like it's better than taproot basically with bitcoin because bitcoin's not completely private to be honest guys because you obviously can see the amounts of the transaction just like with the whale that we keep an eye on and stuff like that but with fire you've got no details whatsoever so it's complete complete privacy and this is what i love about fire so once we get above eight dollars we got technical target at this resistance point, which is the zone that we were basically in before we dipped, remember? What I do like about the chart right now is when we first looked at Fyro on my YouTube channel, we were up here and I told you guys we are going to come down. Why? Because Fyro likes pumping and then coming back down. So when it came down, I gave you this swing high, but I did say if you ever lost this swing high, you're going to come back to this and look at that for the wick. Got back above. But your, your pumps after meeting the demand zone kept on like uh, the pumps after were uh, getting less and less and less because the more times you come to a support, the weaker it gets. And so that's why the first time you came down here had a massive pump. The second time, a bit less. Third time, even less. And it just got weaker and weaker until you broke below it. And with this massive wick over here, you actually uh, used it as resistance, meaning that you've confirmed that you're basically in a downtrend because this is a lower high. So after a lower high, you should make a lower low but you can see now as we zoom out this is a beautiful beautiful bottoming out structure this w pattern so i think that is why i gave you this target up here measuring from here to here and then putting that on the break over here which gives us a target at nine dollars 25 bringing us back up to this supply zone so you're going to get above this confirm as demand and after hitting demand we're going to fly to supply maybe come back midway you could all, all uh, fall back to the middle point or back to this demand zone and eventually break it but by the time we're uh, getting up here the emas would have come up so much anyway that you just fall to them and then go up and continue and moon basically perfect i hope you enjoyed today's fire update thank you again for 500 subscribers the next goal is 1000 it would be insane if we got there by the end of the year we got basically one month until christmas imagine if we could get there for christmas that would be an amazing Christmas present, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I could never imagine me getting to 500 subscribers this far. So I just appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart because it's you guys that are sharing the content and enjoying it and coming back and watching it and supporting me. So thank you so much to you all. Um, remember to comment down below, like the video and comment down below to enter the giveaway for two months free in my Discord group chat. And of course, I'll do the random generator, I'll post it on Twitter or something like that. So make sure you're following my Twitter, Louis underscore crypto. Perfect, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's update. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, peace.